we have a tight stick in case of well in case of this um that's my smoothie from earlier see so much better and less noticeable i guess i could take my zip patches off now Oh, that's obscene. Picks at face, then gets on camera. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I apologize if you can hear thunder in the background. I live in Oklahoma. It's tornado season. I was eating a vegan pizza while one was in my county. This will probably be the consistent background for a bit because I got completely kicked out of my apartment due to the flooding. Also, oh my God, guys. I've created the ambience. Now that I finally have an apartment that has walls and is dry, I'm now romanticizing the fact that I have an apartment. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I have my nice little wave mermaid light on. It's just so good. I'm finally, I wouldn't say thriving. I'm living in one place, kind of, which is something I took for granted. But today I wanted to do a chill, fun kind of video and show off my brand new purse that I just got off of Amazon. This is not a sponsored video. I just used some Amazon gift cards and I really wanted this purse. Listen, I just finished the Harry Potter series for the first time in my life. I just finished the Deathly Hallows like two days ago, I think. And I have thoughts, obviously, I'd hope so. I'm thinking about making a video over Harry Potter. If you guys are interested in that type of content, please comment down below and let me know. I know some of you have Harry Potter related icons in your YouTube profiles, but let me know if that's something you'd like to see from me. I have one outline planned out and then I have an idea to do like Harry Potter unpopular opinions. I'm not sure if they're unpopular though because I was literally sheltered from this series my entire life somehow. I just think it's kind of interesting. I don't see many people who don't know absolutely anything about Harry Potter get into it when they're like 22, you know what I mean? So anyways, I bought this bag because I have no self-control and I wasn't even finished with the series and I just knew, I was like, I want to brand myself. I want to be carrying this around every single day despite not even knowing if I yet agree with the ending, which I did, it was like fantastic. But yeah, this purse is available on Amazon. I was kind of scared to buy it because the reviews were not good. A lot of people said the second they started using it, the strap just broke, but I've been using it for about three days now. Nothing is breaking, like the seams seem to be pretty good. It's like a nice, I think there's a tornado warning. I just got a weird text, but I can't check it because I'm filming on my phone. It's fine. It seems durable. Like you can just hear it's made out of like a good quality material. They actually just restocked the Gryffindor and Slytherin ones. They were out for a very long time. So maybe the quality has just been improved since all those bad reviews. I'm really liking it so far, but I have wanted to expose all of the stuff I carry around on a daily basis for a while now. So today I'm going to be filming a what's in my Gryffindor Harry Potter bag. 2021. I have not cleaned this out. I know a lot of people like to clean out their purses before they do these kinds of videos. I, I it sounds like I would have since I switched purses, but I literally just dumped everything in here because if I would have told myself, well, you have to clean out all the stuff that doesn't belong in a purse because you're switching purses anyways, I just wouldn't have done it. I love a good big bag that just can hold so much crap that I just don't use. So we're just gonna deep dive into this. Let's just get into it. So first we have a face mask, which is the cause of why I need zip patches. We have a nice leopard print style. Cute, cute. Then we've got my car keys. My car keys, which contain IT information for my college. I've never used this in my life. I didn't even really know this was on here. I think my mom put it on there. And then we have two apartment keys for both of my apartments. Because I am a multi-homed resident, I have one that's flooded and one that's dry. <laughs> I've lived here for two years and I've lived in three apartments. Did I just mix them up? It's fine. And then we have my driver's license that I'm not gonna show you because I feel like I shouldn't. Just know that it is still vertical. Next, we have my dirty wallet that I really need to wash, but just know it's Vera Bradley. It has this nice, C pattern on it because I'm obsessed with the ocean. I'm not gonna show you my credit cards, obviously. Oh my God, I have a hotel key card from a year ago. I have my library card that I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna get my identity stolen, but just know that having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. Oh my God, I have another library card. Damn, look at me go. What else is in here? A Subway gift card. Oh my God, my boss gave me this two years ago. Liquor store punch card. College basics, 2021. My voter identification card. This is a PSA. Make sure you are signing up for your absentee ballot so that they get sent to you with every election that you are eligible to vote in. And then I have my commonly used, poor, terribly, 
constantly swiped credit cards. My OSU ID, I was very pissed that day and I wanted to drop out before I even began. I don't understand why they don't update them. Just know that it's not cute. Ah, the business card of the guy who works here who tried to get me to pay extra because my apartment flooded <laughs> because of the people above me. <laughs> I love it here. And then there's a picture of my boyfriend and I in there, but I can't get it out. Um, it's been in there for four years and I'm not gonna wanna have to wrestle it back in. Oh, lastly, oh, my pride and glory, my COVID vaccination record card. I am getting my second dose on Thursday. Beautiful. Other than that, it's just some birthday cash that I never spent because I hoard money. My Invisalign, or as my Soviet mom likes to call them, Nicole's dentures. Nicole in her denture cup. Do not forget your denture cup in my card, Nicole. Next we have a, what is it called when something's like a tiny, a portable mirror, a mini mirror, a mobile mirror? We have this. It is from the first voice studio that I ever took lessons at. It's where I learned to perform on stage. I learned to play guitar there. It's where Garth Brooks first heard me perform live for the first time, despite me never having seen him perform live. I didn't even know who he was because I was raised by a Soviet. An OSU pen. I think I stole this. Multiple pain relievers because college. We have a tight stick in case of well, in case of this, um, that's my smoothie from earlier. See, so much better and less noticeable. Next, we have an empty tampon bag. I'm serious, it's empty. I'm carrying around an empty bag inside of my bag. Next, we have Biotin, my hair growth vitamin, because if I don't take this, my hair breaks off a few inches off of my head, and I start to look like one of those malnourished Labradors who has just like a dull coat, if you will. Hand sanitizer with a mermaid design, because this ain't over yet. Next we have mosquito bite relief. While I don't live in Florida, I do live in Oklahoma. Florida's ugly stepsister. God, this thunder is not it right now. Like, can it just not, does it doesn't really have to do this right now? Like it has all spring. Next we have a pair of sunglasses. I never got into that stupid late 20 teens, is that what we're calling it? Trend of the tiny sunglasses. I never got into the tiny sunglass craze. I always liked the big, it's almost like a vintage style, but it keeps coming back. The big bug eyed, like don't tell me. Well, I look a little crazy because of the ring light, but don't tell me, this is much more flattering than having those little tiny, like why would you wear those? when you can wear these. And then I have a nice little carrying bag, another empty bag for my bag. Next, we have some Tums I bought in 2017 in San Diego, California, because I was getting acid heartburn, acidic heartburn. I was struggling. There are only three left in here. I have not used this since 2017. Did these expire? They have expired. This was an exciting trip because I decided to exfoliate the day before getting a terrible sunburn. Flashed to me at 11 p.m. in the CVS parking lot with a bottle of aloe vera just going like this and just squirting it directly onto my face. And I was burning in more ways than one on that trip. We have tissues in case I need to cry. We have eye drops in case I'm not crying enough. We have an iPhone adapter because I'm one of those really unusual people who likes to charge my phone while I'm listening to music. I know that's super unusual and really not marketable for Apple. Steve Jobs, do you hear this? Do you know what they're doing up here? I've liked to use this as of late to stream Fearless, Taylor's version, now on all streaming platforms. Next, we have a hair tie that I don't think I've ever used. Scrunchies are the thing now. We have a sore throat lozenge <laughs> that's been in here for, I don't wanna ask, I don't wanna ask. Pumpkin spice chapstick. I don't know what to tell you, that's just who I am as a person. Were you expecting anything less? Still a hits good, even in April. And then we have an empty deodorant. <laughs> I don't know what you guys were expecting. It's like dirty. Another adapter that's just covered in hair. That's how you know we're getting to the bottom when there's just clumps of your hair inside of it. And then we have my birth control. It's like a fun little advent calendar counting down to, okay, well maybe it's not fun at all. Another hair tie I've never used that has cat hair and my hair on it. Okay, that is all for the main compartment of the bag. Now I would like to show you the actual layout of the inside. It has exactly what I like in a purse where it has one big zipper on one side and then it has two pockets on the other side. One's kind of big and then the other's like a smaller size. Also, I just love the plaid on the sides and also this, so cute. Okay, so now let's see what's in these pockets. I'm sure we'll be so surprised by what we find in these pockets. It's hot sauce. Del Taco might not always have hot sauce, but I do. I like to sit in my car and drown my Beyond Avocado tacos in this and also 
my clothes, which is why I have, it's just a match made in heaven. You know, you can't have one without the other. This was two times as full earlier today, but then I went to Del Taco and they forgot to give me the hot sauce I asked for, but then, you know, when I pull out of my, it's just, it's amazing. Next we have questionable Ukrainian ointment because they just don't make it like this over here. Technically it's tetracycline. If you can read Cyrillic, that's what that says. Tetracycline. It's a horrible earwax color, but ironically enough, this gets rid of my ear infections so well. The lid is even cracked. I have my grandfather in Ukraine right now stocking up on these tubes for when I come visit him. And Dedushka, I am on my way. This is the shit. Next, we have the reason I get ear infections. My earplugs, because my boyfriend has sleep apnea and I have ear infection prone ears. Next are just my headphones, which I've been using a lot as of late to stream Fearless, Taylor's version, now on all streaming platforms. And there's nothing in this smaller pocket, there's nothing. I, there's plenty of things I can put in there. God, it's so light. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't, this is disgusting. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any more uploads from me. I will be linking this bag down in the description for you guys if you want to go ahead and buy it. If you made it this far into the video, let me know down below which Hogwarts house you're in and if you are interested in some Harry Potter content in the future. I'm going to go find out if there is a tornado outside. So I will see you all next week and I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye guys.